When medicine and the law meet, it is time for the doctor's court, which is now in session. Joins today is attorney Anahita Sedegatfar. Thank you for being here. A Utah couple recently exchanged vows and are now expecting their first child together, but that's the good news. The bad news, they're facing incest charges, potentially jail time as they await their bundle of joy. And why is that the case? Because they are first cousins. Here's a look at what they had to say on Dr. Phil. This is true love and it's unusual, it's uncommon, it's unconventional, but it really is what's going on. Imagine in your mind that you've met someone that you were head over heels in love with and they just so happened to be your cousin and you knew that if you weren't with this person, you would, you would always be unhappy, you would never have the connection that you sought after, you'd never have that deep level spiritual thing that every single one of us in here craves. And you're telling me you wouldn't do it? Well. I don't know, I'm gonna do it, I'm gonna take the risk, and I'm gonna be happy that I did it because I get to be with the woman I love, and that's just that. Anita, can we talk just legally in terms of what charges they're facing and, and this whole law of incest yeah. in Utah where they live? Incest is illegal in almost every state, and in the state of Utah, it is a third degree felony, punishable by five years in prison and $5,000 in fines. Wow. So it's not something to take lightly at all. What is the definition of incest in terms of how close <laughs> do you need to be? So if cousins is included, yeah. let's say it's a second cousin, where, where do you draw it the line legally? It varies state by state. Usually it says sex with a blood relative is illegal, but some states say if you're over 65 and therefore can't have children, it's legal. So it really varies state by state. So I know. In those instances, those states are more concerned about two cousins reproducing who have higher, you know, and producing someone with a genetic disorder, right? And that's, that's the state's argument always. That's why we have these laws, because the state has a compelling interest to prevent genetic defects in children, and that is really why we have these laws on the books. So they went to Colorado to get married, is that yeah. correct? In their state of Utah, are the charges only because they are having a child together? Yes. So the, the act of having intercourse Sex. is not yeah. an offense? The state of Utah does not recognize their marriage. It doesn't matter okay. that they went to Colorado. Utah can still criminally charge them. Why? Because it is a crime in the state of Utah to have sex with a blood relative. And she's pregnant. They're all over social media talking about the fact that they're cousins, they're married, and they had sex. So that is inconsequential. So I guess the rest of the family is like appalled, right? They're disgusted. I mean, there is sort of this outrage and kind of moral factor that plays into it. So yeah, it's not only legally wrong, but it's a little bit reprehensible to a lot now, of people. In, in your experience, does incest usually really land people in jail? I know the laws exist, yeah. but do they it really? Does. It does. Usually we see it like enforced when it's an adult and a minor, which we see in a lot of oh. incest cases. But yeah, but we different. see these laws enforced.